Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys are all um, doing okay, staying healthy. Uh, I hope you're all chilling inside, watching a lot of YouTube videos like mine. <laughs> um, you know, uh, chilling, relaxing, working from home, not working at all like me. Um, you know, going crazy with the kids because I'm about to lose my mind, let me tell you. And it's only been a week, a week and a bit, and I'm about to lose my shh, you know, that thing. I don't know, guys. I don't know how I'm going to last. Uh, might have to ship them off to my mom's or to grandma's for it. I don't know. Um, I told them today they had to do homework. They whined and complained about it they were not happy about it i got the can i do it later can i do this first can i watch this tv show first uh, i told them that they should do some journal work and you know kind of like just do a journal of how their days went and now that you know and maybe in 10 years 20 years from now they read these journals and you know kind of remember what was going on in the world and uh my daughter who's seven going on 17 says to me well, can I watch TV while I'm doing my journal? Um, let, me, let me think. Do you watch TV in class when you're doing your journal? Well, we don't have TVs in class, mommy. Uh, really? Gee, I, I wonder why that is. So, anywho, uh, I'm getting a lot of pushback from these kids about wanting to do homework. Um, and if they don't uh, ship up, I'm going to take all their electronics away. And then they're going to have nothing. So they better uh, smarten up because uh, I'm not going to be sitting on their iPads and their phones and their PS4s or their Nintendo Switch and all that stuff. Yes, they do have all those electronics. I partly blame my husband for the PS4 and gaming consoles. <laughs> Anywho, the point is... These kids need to learn that just because there's no actual school, it doesn't mean they don't have to do school work. So, anywho, I decided to flood the canvas so that I can show you guys what's going on um, and show you guys how I flood it. I know a lot of people keep asking me, how much do you put on there? I don't know how much. Is it too much? Is it not enough? Um, basically, you flood the canvas to the point where you cannot see the canvas anymore. If you can see through the paint and you can see the canvas through the paint, then you don't have enough. Okay? Um, I always find it's always better to put a little more than not enough because at least that way when you try and blow your paints, uh, it will will blow it with the hairdryer, it'll move with more ease. And these bottles are in my way, so I'm gonna have to scooch them over a little bit. So tonight, I am trying something new. Uh, it is something that uh, an Instagrammer by the name of Samantha Carroll um, does. I will put her name in the description below the video. She does these really cool um, flowers. Um, it's kind of basically also like um, what Rinska does um, with her uh, little blooms there that she blows on. So no hair dryer for this. But uh, check out Samantha Carroll. Like I said, I'll put her name in the info in the description below. And then uh, also you can check out Rinska's video because she did one of these as well. And it turned out beautiful and I just loved it. And I said, you know what, I'm going to give that a go. Take a little break from uh, my Dutch pours with the hair dryer. Let's see here. So this is how I make sure my sides are perfect. All right. Just like so. And then I just use my finger to um, dab away any parts of the canvas that are still showing. All right, so I think I got it all, but I'll mess with the rest later. So now you have an idea, okay, of how I flood the canvas and how I make sure the sides are all taken care of because the sides are just as important as the top, but in this case, maybe not so much because there won't be um, 
any paint flowing off the sides, or at least I don't think so, on this. All right, so let me just pop all the bubbles here. All right. Now, um, some of you may or may have not seen, I posted some pictures on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, on my uh, Instagram, or no, sorry, my YouTube stories. Uh, I have uploaded pictures of all my prints that are up for sale. I have slashed the prices pretty drastically. Um, I've sold a bunch today already, um, or while you're watching this, it would have been yesterday. I've sold a bunch, so if you're interested in any prints, um, please email me and you can check out the pictures and the prices and the sizes of everything all on Instagram or on Facebook, okay? So check it out there. Okay, so I'm doing a pink flower, a blue flower, a purple flower, and a turquoise flower. I know you can't see the colors, but I'm gonna start with the um, kind of pinky purple. So the colors I'm gonna use is the Theo Violet by Academy. I, or here it is, Theo Violet by Academy. And then I'm gonna use the Berry by Deco Art. And then I am gonna throw a little Dioxazine Purple in there by Golden. And then the Azo Pink by Pebel. Um, so I think I'm gonna do one flower, two flowers, three, and four. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start down here. And because these are flowers, I'm not doing um, a squiggly line. It's just gonna be a little puddle. Um, and then I'm gonna blow it. So if I think one flower is gonna be here, so do that. So I, it's, it's been a while since I've done a puddle on anything. So it'll be interesting to see how this uh, turns out. And it doesn't have to be puddles. It could just, you know, go like that. All right, I was uh, watching the news today and I heard a 95 year old Italian woman in Italy has recovered from having the coronavirus. Like a 95 year old, that is insane. I'm so happy for her and her family, that's awesome. That is super, super neat. And I hope other people are also, oh, big bubble there, come on pop. All right, so now because I did puddles and I don't wanna flood around with white and blow it over. So I think what I will do though is I will add a little bit of white just on top, just to add a little bit like so. I don't wanna flood it. I'm gonna try it this way. All right, so now let's blow it and see what happens after I pop the uh, air bubbles, because I see lots of bubbles. Yep, all right. Oh, it's so pretty. I like it. I think I will blow it over the edge. Just to add some color to the side of the canvas, right? That's kind of pretty. I don't know, we'll see how the rest go and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so the next set of colors I may not even like that by the time I get to the end. So we have Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. All right, and then we have um, Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. And then I'm going to use the um, Deep Sapphire by Deco Art, and then the Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo. All right, uh, I think that's the order I wanted it in. Okay, so I think my next flower will be here. And as usual, it's, it's, I tell you, it's this one color only. There's something that constantly clogs up my metallic cobalt blue every single time. 
All right, so right here. All right. Get rid of that. Now let's go with the, uh, no, I think I had it that way. Yep, the metallic cobalt blue. Okay, and then let's do the, uh, see this is a much smaller puddle than the other one I just did. So we'll see how this one turns out because this will be an easy scrape. If I have to scrape one, it'll be very easy to do and then just start it all over, right? Okay, so that takes care of that. And just a little white, a little less than the other one. I am going to pop any torches, uh, pop any torches, pop any bubbles. And I'm going to bring this down a bit so I can actually reach it. And I think I may have gone too close to the edge. I should have brought it down a little bit more, but. Okay, I love that. Love, 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 love it. And the problem is, I hope it doesn't um, all just pull off the side there, but I'm really loving that. And now that I'm looking at this, I'm really hating, <laughs> hating this. So I might come back to this and just scrape it and just do that one again, but I love this one. Okay, next set of colors are purples. And so I'm going to be using Prism Violet by Liquitex Basics. And then I have the Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. And then I have the Brilliant Purple by Liquitex Basics. And then on top, I'm going to throw the Metallic Purple by Artist Loft. All right. Let me get a new paper towel here. All right. I'm loving this. So not loving that. That's going to get redone. It's probably going to get redone. Okay, so now I need to do the purple here. Okay. I think, yeah, so the other one should maybe go a little further down. All right. The permanent blue violet by Amsterdam. Okay. Do that. And now we have the Brilliant Purple by Liquitex Basics. And finally, we have the Metallic Purple on top. Okay, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of white on the top, just like the other one. Just a smidge, just like so. And uh, let's blow this one out after I pop the bubbles and see what comes about with this one. Wonder if you can hear all that stomping going on upstairs. Everybody just got back from uh, walking Juno. I did not go on that walkabout. All right, I like that too. I like those. Like, I mean, it's not a flower with like perfect four petals because that's not really, I just want these beautiful, pretty blobs, right? This is gonna go. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna get rid of it right now because I don't like the way it looks. So before any of this really sinks into the canvas, I am going to do it again. All right, 
Make sure you're clearing off your sides. I cannot stress enough how important that is to uh, clean off the sides. You don't want any residue leftover colored paint because it will show up when you, um, when it dries. There's a little floofster in here. There we go. All right. Let's add the white again. Trying hard not to get around the blue there and ruin the blue because I'm really loving the blue. Okay. Perfect. Okay, and I will get my white and just get my edges again. Just make sure all my edges are fully covered. All right. So let's try that one again. Um, all right, so I think I did, all right. Pop any bubbles, cause I can see them. All right. Oh, that turned out pretty. I like that. Okay. So let's do that again. Let's go here. And then I did, that was last. Then I did, let's do, I don't remember what order I did it in. So I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. All right, dioxazine purple. Oh, I just lost my tip in the paper towel. Let's see, there it is. All right, dioxazine purple, and then um, berry. Actually, yeah, berry. Whoops, <laughs> shoot, too much berry. All right, and then last but not least, the brighter Azo pink. Okay, and I think I put too much white last time, so just that's it. Okay, I am going to torch the bubbles. Holy smokes. Okay. Really, really soft blows, guys. Extremely, extremely soft, soft. You don't want to blow it too hard. Okay. I'm going to leave that for now. Let me get to the turquoise. All right, turquoise. Let's start with Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex Basics. We'll do it right here. Okay, followed by Deco Art Teal Green. Deco Art Teal Green. This is one of my new colors. Uh, sorry, I didn't show you the first bottle. There it is, Bright Aqua Green. And then I have Turquoise Green by Academy. Okay. And last but not least, Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo. All right. Add our little bit of white, just like that. Let's... Uh, torch and let's blow it out. Ooh, that iridescent blue green. I love it.
That's pretty, 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 pretty. Why is it this one? I can't seem to like, like, I don't know what it is. I just don't like this one. I can't put my finger on it. I like this part. I just don't like this part. Oh my gosh. I cannot get it. I don't know what it is, but I'm not happy with that. This one spot. Okay. I need, I know you guys are probably like freaking out. What are you doing? I know, I know. Well, at least I didn't scrape anything else. Just this one color. I don't know what it is. I can't seem to um, get it right. I will get it right, I promise. Just, all right, I gotta clean my edges. Make sure, there we go, nice and white. Okay. I'm gonna try this one more time. Okay. All I need is just a little bit of color over here. Just a bit. Uh, let's see. A little bit of dioxazine. And i got to clean that off. Okay. And azo pink. Okay. Oh no, that is the Theo Violet, sorry. And then we have some berry. Okay. And finally the Azo Pink. Let's try that again. And if this doesn't work, then I don't know. Okay. Okay. So there's a strip of white here and I don't like it. So I'm just gonna literally touch it, the tip of it with my finger and it literally will blend in the colors just like that. Okay. I think I like it now. You know what I... <laughs> <laughs> you know I have to have everything perfect and proportionate, right? So this has fallen off the edge, this has fallen off the edge, this has fallen off the edge, and this has not fallen off the edge. So that is my conundrum here. That looks pretty though. Okay, I might fidget with it some more after I stop recording, um, but for now, I think I'm gonna leave it as is, and I'm gonna show you guys. And I don't wanna torch it, because I don't wanna get um, a bunch of white little specks everywhere. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up so you guys can see it better. Right, Be right back. All right, guys, so here it is. Now, if you're wondering why it looks a little different, especially this one, it's because I, sc I scraped it again. And I did it again, only this time I actually took out the dioxazine purple and just left it with the pinks. And um, I think it's uh, so much better that way because it is just pink and because I already have the purple here, um, I actually took the dioxazine purple out completely and I'm so happy I did that because I like it even more now. And then I um, blew out a lot, of, lot more of the edges. I wanted to fan them out and get them closer to each other, each color. Um, I found there was a lot of negative white space, too much of it. And so I just blew them all out. And I actually like that so much better. Um, they're not flowers by any means. 
Um, but I don't care because I think it's pretty anyway. Um, I'm really liking the four colors I chose, the turquoise, the purple, and then the beautiful blues, and now just the pink. That's so soft, so soft. I'm loving it. So I don't think I mentioned this is a um, 12 by 24 inch canvas and uh, that's it. It is available for purchase for anyone who would like to purchase it. You can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Please let me know what you guys think about this piece. I know it's not your typical Dutch pour. It's not a Dutch pour at all, actually, um, but I wanted to try something different. So give it a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Check out all my information in the description below, Amazon links, PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate to my channel and all my social media links as well. Don't forget to check out Juno the Husky and subscribe to his channel as well. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, shame on you. <laughs> no, seriously, shame on you. You should be subscribed to my channel. If you're watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps out my channel and I would really, really appreciate it. So thank you very much everybody for watching. I hope you guys are staying sane and not going crazy, being stuck in uh, isolation and quarantine and whatever it is you guys are doing. But just stay healthy, guys. That's all I got to say. And find something to do like watch YouTube videos like mine. All right. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.